I'm going to show you some other cool stuff that you can do with Esprino. Now, Esprino is a very small JavaScript interpreter which runs on small microcontrollers like this, which is the Olmec Xeno board from Olmex. Um, this board is a bit like the Arduino, it's got all the connectors in the same pattern, except it has an ARM microcontroller on it. Now, one thing I've done is um, I've bought a USB module. You can get these online um, for about four pounds, so six, seven dollars, something like that. Um, I've wired up four wires on it to ground, power, and transmit and receive of serial. So I'm just going to take that and plug it in. And then I'm going to stick this uh, lithium ion battery on it as well. So now um, you can see on the right hand side this terminal has just popped up. Um, if I reset it you'll see it pops up with the Esprino prompt and we can type commands and execute them. Um, and I'll just move this into middle so you can see that there are no wires at all. Um, the other thing you can do is you can connect to this and program it via your phone if you want. Um, so we can we can turn some lights on and off um, using digital write which is a Arduino command. Um, so LED1 uh, we can get that out of a variable. So if I say um, there you go. Now we could uh, write this into a set interval which we'll call it every so often. So we just flip the state and then we call ourselves 10 times a second. There you go. Now we can do some slightly more interesting things as well. Um, I have here a, uh, a light detector with a resistor on. So if I take this and I plug it in here, um, we need to make sure that the pins either side of it are set to either 0 volts or the power rail. So I'll just do that. And now if we read the analog value, we should have something. And if I put my hand over it, it goes up. So I don't know, that's sort of interesting. Um, what we can do though is we can attach a servo to it. So a model aircraft servo is, um, is a little electric motor with some control circuitry and a sensor and it goes to um, the position you tell it to go to um, and you tell it with a digital pulse of a certain length. So I'll just connect this up Okay, so we should now be able to send it some pulses. Uh, it is actually connected to <laughs> a huge mess of wires. Yellow. And yellow on this is D3. Say. So these numbers are given in milliseconds. So when we say it, if we keep saying it, eventually it'll get to the point and it'll um, it, it'll it'll stop moving. Um, it turns out I've actually given it the wrong command here. Okay, that's better. 
and then the other end of movement is um, at 2 milliseconds. So what we can do, we can actually just keep doing this now, again on set interval. So if we make a variable called servo, pause, and then we call set interval again. Now if we set servo pos to something else, So what we can do really simply now is uh, we do set interval again maybe, but this time we make survey pause equal to the analog value. We won't do this quite so often. Okay, but now if I put my hand over it, Now, there's a reason this isn't working very well, um, and it's actually because I have set the timings all wrong. The, the value we give to the server is supposed to be between 1 and 2 milliseconds, and because I've set it to analog read, it's actually between 0 and 1. So if I just do this again, that's better. And now, if I put my hand over it, And as before, uh, if we hit save, it'll actually save it straight into the device. And if it did lose power, um, it would, would come back where it left off. Now, there's actually no need for it to be connected via Bluetooth, so we can just pull this off. Um, and it just keeps working. If I don't knock bits off it. And there you go. Thanks for watching.